This program is funded in part by, um, the, um, hmm. uh, uh, no one, okay? So, so stop making fun of our sets. Yeah, you, you people know, think this is easy? You know, I mean, it's not, it's not easy being us. Previously on Dirty Laundry. Can you feel it? I can feel it. I came to school to dying in the electric chair last night. Why didn't you? Okay. Yet it's Tina. She's alive. She's kicking. At this moment, she's inside the house freshening up for a press conference. I have listened to your ranting this long for one thing, the love of money. And as you will come to realize, I am swimming in it. In fact, I have enough to buy this place. <laughs> that is, if I felt like slumming it. It was great fervor that we're proud to announce the candidacy of Mr. Tim Timpson for the seat of mayor of Cedar Falls. Oh, watch yourself. The floor's a little wet. bump on your head. I never saw anyone fall like that. You must really be hurting. Well, I'm getting used to it. I suppose you're the ghost of Christmas past, and you're going to tell me how wonderful my life has been up till now. Hey, you know, you're pretty funny. No, I'm Calvin Haynes. I'm here to find somebody who can tell me about what happened to my brother Mel. You're Mel's brother? I didn't know we had any relatives. Of course he's got relatives, kid. Everybody's got relatives. What do you think, he just like came from spontaneous combustion? Well, no, it's just that he never mentioned his family before. I said everybody's got relatives. I didn't say everybody likes the relatives they got. I'm so confused. Well, I'll tell you. It hasn't been a picnic for me either. What happened? You know, I can understand someone wanting to shoot my brother Mel. He never did learn to mind his own business. But why now? Well, that's a question we've all been asking a lot lately. By the way... I suppose I should give you this. I believe it was Mel's most treasured possession. He was a rare bird. Never wanted to dress for an occasion. I'll tell you what, kid, you keep it. Seems like you were a good friend to him. Not good enough. 
Oh, if I just didn't leave the laundromat that day, he would have never been alone. He would have never been killed. Don't get all choked up. Like I told you, if I know my brother Mel, he had it coming. Oh, well, the name's Larry. Larry Alkali. I'm the clerk here at the sentence bin. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Haynes. Calvin, kid. Call me Calvin. So, Calvin, what are you doing here now? I mean, Mel's death was months ago. Well, I was in Europe on business. And when I got back last week, I heard the news about Mel. Well, he was a worthless son of a bitch, but he was my brother. So I got here as quick as I could. Well, I'm glad you did. Unfortunately, we don't know too much as to why Mel was shot. In fact, we don't even know who did it. Yeah, I heard the report. Some broad got convicted and they let her go. Well, that broad happens to be a friend of mine. And she was exonerated from all charges. Yeah, right. Exonerated. I bet she pled her case very earnestly with the judge. In private, if you know what I mean. Pardon me, Mr. Haynes. But I don't appreciate you, your ill attempt at humor at the expense of my friend. Yeah. Tina is a fine human being. Yeah, yeah, I saw a picture in the paper. Look, I'll tell you all I know, but you have to keep an open mind about this. The information on this case is a little hazy, and I don't want you jumping to any conclusions about Mel's death or Tina. Okay, okay. Go get your shorts in a bind. I'm just stating the obvious. Now, why don't you sit down, take a couple of deep breaths, and then meditate or do whatever else you do around here to calm down. And I'll see you in the morning. You look like hell. This can't be happening to me. I'm only a laundry clerk. I wonder if Keith Richards had days like this. I still don't see why you have to conduct your interviews here. I mean, you do have a home. But Larry, I don't want these vagrants traips in their fields in and out of my beloved ranch. This place is so much more suitable. Blanche. You're going to hire a new butler. I mean, this person's going to have to see a home, aren't they? Oh, only after the successful candidate has completed my three-week orientation course. Orientation course? Why, yes, Larry. Sugar Plum, you don't think I was going to hire any old Mr. Belvedere that would walk in off the streets, now do you? Oh, the butler that works for me must be fully versed in all the commandments of Rhinestone Ranch as contained in this eensy weensy little report. <laughs> Blanche, an MIT course in quantum physics doesn't have this much reading material. Well, I guess that's why you're just a laundry clerk, Larry, instead of a butlery engineer. Did Giles know everything in that book? Giles was a special case. What he lacked in the fine art of obedience, he made up for in other certain specific areas. Really? I do not wish to speak about Giles anymore, Larry. He is one of those, those nouveau riches. Oh, it's just a shame how just anyone can get their hands on a million dollars nowadays. But, Flint, didn't you acquire your... Oh, uh, mercy sakes, look at the term. Oh, and oh, my first butler applicant is due here any moment now. And here I am, just little old me, all by my lonesome with not even a little desky whiskey. <clears throat> I am well aware that it's useless to argue with you. Fine. Go ahead, Blanche. <laughs> Larry, you are just a fuzzy peach. <laughs> Paycheck to paycheck. Oh my God, I've been 
been gone such a long time. Oh, well, I'll be a coal miner's daughter. Looky here. You've returned to us. How are you, my poor unfortunate soul? Oh, I'm fine, Blanche, but what have you been doing? Well, I, I really haven't been the same since my guys left, and I, I guess the stress is starting to get to me. So you've decided to work in a laundromat? Work in a... <laughs> oh, no, you silly fool. <laughs> I'm merely the recipient of Larry's generous hospitality. I'm using his desk to interview my prospective butler applicants. What happened to Giles? Giles is no longer in my employ. Is he all right? He's fine. He just decided that winning a few paltry million dollars is more important to him than a long lifetime rewarding career with the rhinestone empire. Giles a millionaire? I have other names for him. Uh, listen, Blanche, is, is Larry around? We just wanted to stop in and visit the old chum. Oh, damn it! Never mind, Blanche. I cannot believe what she said about Giles and all those movies. <laughs> it's like some fresh meat in the butcher shop, baby. <laughs> What's up, Larry, old sport? Tina! You are free! Oh, oh. oh, Tina, I didn't know what to believe with all those news reports. And besides, it's been so crazy out here with Sid and Nell and I don't uh, know. That's just great, Larry. That's, that's great. Uh, we just wanted to stroll into town and meet some old friends, you know what I mean? The way the season's changed around here, I feel like I've been away for years. Well, this place hasn't been the same without you. Thank you. I was so glad to hear that you were freed. Wow, what a story. The way that witnesses came out of the blue and... Uh, <laughs> hey, Larry, have you heard the news? Taking a stab at politics. My <laughs> team here, the doll, is going to be the next mayor of Cedar Falls. Really? Oh, yeah, Larry. You see, I think the people of Cedar Falls have been lied to and cheated long enough. I mean, if Mayor Newell treats all of his citizens like he treated my little lamb chop here, we're in for a lot of troubled times ahead, buddy. Honey, you don't get all rolled up. You know how it gets you. My sweetie's been such a rock for me through these times. I really don't think I could have made it without his love and constant support. <laughs> I've been waiting for this movie since the last one came out. You would think with all the money they have in Hollywood, it would take a lot quicker than two years to make one of these things. They have an obligation, you know. We're not just any fans. We're the most devoted fans of any type of programming ever. For 30 years now, I, and others before me, have watched faithfully. First on television, then the animated series, the books, the magazines, the movies. These actors would be nothing without us here. You would think they'd be a bit more generous with their movie obligations. Of course, watching the final movie will be a letdown for me. I've already read the script. It's okay. A bit more action and better effects than the last few. The new crew is better for that kind of stuff anyway. The original cast was beginning to really show their age. I've met just about all of them. I have their pictures, a coffee cup from one, a napkin from another, even a used tissue from that one time when the captain was having dinner in that exclusive restaurant. And I heard about it over the net exactly when and where he would be there. That was the most stellar moment. I have that tissue framed. Is this seat taken? Wow! She's definitely not the usual fare that comes to these in on opening night. She's gorgeous. I think I'll lay on the charm. Nope. I'm here all alone, so this seat would be empty. Thanks, this place is packed. I've been dying to see this film, but I didn't expect this kind of turnout. Seems like more people all the time jump on the old bandwagon. I, however, have been a true blue fan since I was a kid. I just love these movies. I've been a fan for some time as well. I'm in love. What luck am I having today? 
First my authentic replica of the Quadro Photon Ray Pistol finally arrives in the mail, and now this. There's a god and he's smiling on me. I can see us now in our old age. Sure kids, we'll tell you that story again about how we met. She was a lost soul in a sea of turmoil. Nowhere to turn, no idea where to go. I stepped in and offered myself to her, metaphorically and physically. The attraction was instant between the two of us. It was a love that would surpass any solar system. Oh, here we go. They're not even going to show those legions of humdum previews. The last time they tried that on opening day, the screen was pelted with jujubes and diet cola. I'm so excited. I've never felt this way before during an opening. It was her. She felt it too. Take my hand, darling, as we travel together into the future. Wait a minute. This isn't the new Mel Gibson movie. Oh, God, I'm in Geekville! Well, I would have had trouble sneaking her into my parents' basement anyway. There you are. What the hell are you guys doing in this place? We have to start associating ourselves with the elite and upper class of this town. We need solicited votes from them. At least target somebody who knows what decade it is. Tim. You cannot be serious. You don't have Malcolm somehow involved in your bid for the mayor's seat, do you? Involved? <laughs> that, he's my campaign manager, Larry. But how well do you know him? Oh, Look, what? anyone buried that deep underneath the foundation of corporate greed cannot be trusted. Remember when he wanted in on my waterless laundry detergent? He screwed up the whole thing and everything, all hell broke loose. Oh yeah, let me you know that formula I stole from you. It made me millions. Anyway, don't listen to him, okay? Now that your wife's been free from that horrible injustice, what we need now is to make sure that the same fate doesn't happen to someone else. Oh, please. Where's the hidden camera? This is no joke, Larry. And Malcolm's been you know, kind and supportive ever since I got out of jail. He showed nothing but compassion and respect for, for our well-being, and the cities for that matter. You know, I, I think he's been uh, uh, really... Don't waste your time explaining it to him. This guy's mind is so warped. I mean, only the, God forbid, second coming of Jerry Garcia could set this guy straight. Come on, we got bigger fish to fry. I feel the need for a melody. Cell phone voicemail, global village downsize your primetime propaganda and user friendly bombs. Your yacht club fares infect us with political correctness. World without And then I spent four years at the palace until quite recently when that whole divorce caused a chaos and many of us were let go due to the departure of the ex, Her Majesty. Uh -huh. But uh, how about the hot water wash? Uh, I mean, did you ever forget to add uh, starch? I'm sorry, Miss Rhinestone, but I feel that, well, any form of personal hygiene is, well, to me, one's own responsibility. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, I don't do waxing. Yeah, and then I had a position at a highly guarded government institution. Really? That's very interesting. Yeah, that and good behavior got me early parole. Next! This is quite an impressive resume. Three years at the White House. Two years with the Trumps. Oh, and a long and flowing list of highly complimentary letters of recommendation. Oh, and a keen sense of style and grace. Oh, I must say, you are quite a catch. <laughs> The butler job is yours if you want it. 
Butler job? <laughs> Me? Oh, I thought you were looking for work. For God's sake, woman, I'm a doctor, not some low-life laundry clerk. Well, now, looks as if the downward spiral swirled rather quickly. Well, thanks a lot, girls. <laughs> You've come back to your senses and decided to come back to work for me. Uh, no. Rather, my senses told me something else. That it was time to do the laundry. Or shall I say, time for someone else to do my laundry. Oh, I do hope, my dear man, that you are not implying that I do your laundry. Well, you are sitting in the laundry clerk's seat. Well, well that's only because Larry let me borrow his desk. And how dare you assume that I am some lowly working commoner. Madam, if I was mistaken, a thousand apologies. But do be a dare and tell Larry I prefer my clothes to go through the rinse cycle. Oh, well, Make that the extra insight. Oh! Thank you. Oh! Um, Larry, darling, uh, I have to go home, um. Would you uh, please tell any other Bala applicants that I, that they can, they can also go home? Well, sure, Blanche. Did you get yourself a new butler? No, Larry, darling, but I sure as hell got myself one hell of a migraine. Oh, hi there. Welcome to the sit and spin. This must be your first time. What's that supposed to mean? Just because I don't have the best clothes in town doesn't mean I never clean them. Hey, I'm sorry. I just meant that I was the clerk here and, well, we've never met. Ah, uh, okay. But watch what you say to people. You could get yourself in some real trouble. Beginning to learn that more and more. You know, you look a little sad. I'm a psychic. I could uh, tell your future for five bucks. I can read your tea leaves for ten. No thanks. I prefer to live my life one day at a time. Kill him! 